let's start here. So a long time ago, when we first started the game, we we joined the game, and uh, one of the things that really drew us in was the immersion that we felt when we were playing this game as a new player. Mm. One of the things was when it got really dark, when it got nighttime, it got really dark. Like, right. well, it was really dark, dark, but that you could almost almost not see anything you could see like outlines and stuff and you knew like where you were but you it was dark like it was nighttime uh of course if you had a lantern if you had a torch if you have something if there was lamps you could see them from far away and you could be like hey there's a there's a, a light way over there and that must be a, a town or a city and you would you'd work your way over there as a, as a new player and that was really big in, in immersion now uh, they got the new engine in, so the new client renderer or whatever, and uh, it made the darkness kind of go away. And so even though it's midnight in the game, it never truly gets really dark. Right. Lamps, even though we can see them over there, are not truly something that is necessary like imagine right. we used to dread filming and and streaming remember yeah yeah that, because every I, time we hit yeah. the the record button or stream button at the same time every day it would literally just start being nighttime and no one could see anything on our screen right now look at this everybody all of you guys can see this chessboard without any problems yeah, yeah you're definitely, probably right? It was always that. dark when it was... And for the longest time, yeah. we're like, dark again. Well, I'm not carrying there's a... good reason I, for why it we, was dark We started again. at the same time every day. <laughs> every time. same time every day. Same time. Was, yeah. And so I never even thought about carrying my torch, my torch or my lantern. I could... I right. think I have one. Yeah, I have one. Yeah. I don't even Doesn't feel like I need like to the, turn it on because it's not... point to turn it on. Yeah, there's no point anymore. And so, so, so there's, no so there's, there's lights, comments. Right. There's people on both sides, right? There's the people on the side of, you know, I like it the way that it is because it's the way that it is right now. And for whatever the reasons are. they can are. see. They can see. Right. And then there's the people on the side that, uh, you know, we remember how it was. It's lighting should be part of your gameplay sort of thing which is where we lie and uh so so how does all of you guys lie it looks like lamps are now, now more of a that... decorative item just like furniture instead of it being more of an item that you would want for survival okay, i have two things to say now uh, on the lamps are decorative it's like, I've always been the type of person who would make those lamps because it was dark and because I couldn't see. And if I didn't put lamps, then it made it really hard to play the game. So I would put the lamps out. And I actually appreciated the fact that those lamps allowed me to see. And I put pride in making sure those lamps were high quality and so on and so forth. The moment that everything changed where you can see in the dark, I actually don't care about lamps anymore. I put this torch lamp thinking that it might make a difference at the, at our house, but it doesn't really make a difference, and I probably could do without it. Now, one the other thing I wanted to say was they recently changed the lighting in caves so that caves are now darker again. Uh, but there's a lot of When you're saying, he's, when he's saying were... it, yeah, you're saying they changed it again in the sense that they once recently. were this dark, then they became they bright. Were dark. And now they're they dark again. Bright. And now they're dark again. Yeah. So they they became bright, just like nights are bright. Like you could just yeah. walk in. The, I remember like thinking like I have no lantern on, and I'm in the depths of a cave, and I don't feel like I need a lantern. Uh, that was weird to me, because for the longest time, if you were in a cave without a lantern, you were pretty much screwed. Like you couldn't see anything. So the, they have tweaked it. Yeah. So there's a couple things here that I think people don't think about. Uh, when nights are dark, it doesn't mean that you can't 
see, it means that you need an item to see. So, and the item's not very hard to make. You can make it when you're low level. Uh, and you just put tar in it, and then you can see during the night. Uh, you can put lanterns and lights everywhere, and you can see. I mean, it's part of the game. It's part of the simulation. That's what I, I always found. Part of the worm simulation. We're living in a world. It gets dark. We And they give us the ability. Forges, campfires, fireplaces, ovens. All of these also make things really bright. Uh, and there's also other things like the glowing type of objects. The objects that a... I think there's a ruin that can make things glow. There's a uh, Magronon. Mag priests have things that make things glow. Yep. But let me let me read something to you guys. When we started playing this game back in 2012, we actually started with our cousin. It wasn't just two of us. It was three of us. And... He played for the first, I don't know, week or two, let's say. Yeah, Maybe probably, more than probably, that. Probably and he was specific. enjoying this game so much. And he, to the point where he remembers that experience to this day. And recently, he had, for a different reason altogether, he had written up sort of like a small essay as to why about the experience that he wants to see in a future MMO. He was, he was writing it on a different MMO's uh, forum to, to explain to them what he likes about MMOs and how he thinks MMOs should go forward. And we've played EverQuest with him. We've played, uh, I played Vanguard with him. I played, we played a lot of games together. So, this post could have been anything, but he chose to talk about his experience in Worm as why uh, why he wants to see a game, what kind of game he wants to see moving forward. And uh, this is the post that he made. He said, uh, maybe it can't be the same as it was before, but there's room for a new adventure, I feel. For... For background, I have a very fond memories of playing EverQuest, and this story is about how I got that feeling again in another game. Years ago, I had an amazing journey through a game called Worm Online. If you haven't heard of it, it's a sandbox MMO based around shaping the world through crafting. And just for backstory here, uh, he hates crafting. <laughs> That's why he's not playing this game. Uh, okay, so he says, My story starts with a group of us adventuring into the wilderness. We had basically no skills to speak of, and with no in-game map, we set out to find a spot of land to call our own. We walked down a player-made path, away from the starting area, until the path ended. This was it. We were entering the wilderness now. There's no guards to help us. We were on our own. We used hills and lakes to guide us from the, the user-drawn map we found on the internet. We were encountering... we, When we encountered a forest, we boldly went into it. Maybe too boldly. It quickly became nighttime, and I could no longer see more than five feet in front of me. There was a sense of danger that I didn't feel in any MMO since EverQuest. That danger came to life when we ran into some wolves. Our party scattered, running in several directions. There's no way we could face a few wolves with no skill to speak of. Death... It, death... Uh, death in our game night would mean that our, our game night is over. Getting to where we were already took a tremendous effort. Running back felt like it would be impossible, and who knows if we'd ever find our corpses in the thick of the forest. We ran for our lives. Somehow, we were able to get away from those wolves, who knows how, but we were now scattered and lost. 
It took a long time of pointing out landmarks and directing people to finally meet up again. We learned a lesson that day. We knew not to go into that forest again. Eventually, we found an old abandoned plot where it looked like someone set up a simple farming field. Possibly had some animals at some point. We took shelter there to end our first gaming session. I had so much fun, and it gave me a feeling of immersion that I hadn't felt since EverQuest. All that was... I got all of that just from a few hours of wandering around. And when I say wandering, I mean just that. We walked around. We fought maybe one or two animals. We ran away from the most of them. We looked at the landscape and navigated by landmarks. I didn't throw a fireball or kill a goblin king. I didn't have to because the excitement was in the world itself, where anything could happen. We weren't being led down a path to a cave which leads to a throne room. We weren't in an area des designated for our level. There were mobs all around that could kill us. There was no hand-holding or guiding. There was only adventure into the unknown. I never actually ended up playing much of Worm Online, and if you know the game, you know it's a game for crafting, where it's simple at first, but the complexity is what you make of it. I'm unfortunately not a crafter. I have never have been, and I probably never will be. Eventually, I figured out the game was going to be centered around crafting, and then I had lost my interest. But I'll never forget those moments of adventure that I had in those games at the time. And he wrote that recently. But I'm surprised that eight years ago, he entered Worm Online, spent two weeks in it, and, rem and can write that eight years later about his experience in the game. What game have you played for two weeks, eight years ago? <laughs> eight years ago. <laughs> Could you write that? <laughs> yeah. Especially and that since shows the game he hasn't played since really. That shows the uh, yeah, and he hasn't played since. By the way, that shows the level of uh, immersion and the level of like uh, if you add darkness back into the game. It would add that level, that just that level of immersion that you don't forget eight years later, and then you write about it on a forum post about some other game that still hasn't come out. I think he wrote that on Pantheon's forum post or something. Yeah. Like, and imagine, like, if the darkness wasn't there, would he have remembered that experience? Eight years later. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. I just know that at the time, that darkness gave him that experience that he'll never forget. Darkness doesn't last forever either. It gets daytime. It is true. He, if they made a combat system like we described in our previous episode or the one like, you know, one where it's you give the fighter something to own, just like the blacksmith has something to own. I, I think he might give it a shot again. Right. I mean, we've talked about it so much about giving giving combat that progression that it needs giving combat the goals to achieve you know you need that for a player like our cousin who would center his gameplay around that mm -hmm. give him stuff that he could earn and that he can do as much as a builder can do in worm And I believe cats. So there is a cycle, and the cycle is three hours for a full 24-hour cycle. 
in Worm. So I don't know if it's half of that or just part of that. You, you definitely need to have a specific amount of time where it's really dark. I don't even but think then, it's half of it. But then there's, you know, there's the... There's the time in between of it, like, getting dark. And then getting bright. And I think they do those well. Much better than they used to do. Back in the day, it was just sort of light and then dark. <laughs> you think you had we had more daytime after the Steam launch? I feel like that might just be a, a, a perception thing. I just got two rare rolls in the last five minutes. Yes. Two more. And? Oh. Nothing. Oh, I thought you were about to follow that no. with something. No. Uh, I wish. Mm. But no. Okay. <laughs> Besides, this time it would have been a fish keep net, so. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, the game already gets sort of progressively darker, and then it just doesn't go past... Like, if you were looking around, you, you could swear that this was maybe, like, the game was getting darker. Like, the sun had set, or it was setting. And it almost looks like a light is shining from, like, behind me or something, right? But where is that light coming from? There's no light. But there's the light on my back. So... That's that. This is the, that's what I would say. This time period is like the sun is almost has set, but then it stays at that time all night, and then the sun rises again. So, yeah, they 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 could make it darker, and no, it doesn't have to be pitch black all night. And it, you know, the the sun goes down, and then eventually it gets dark. Could and thank you so much, Torque. Yeah. Black at like for the fall, and it lasts for only a couple hours, a few hours. There definitely needs to be darkness, and they give us so many tools to combat that darkness. For example, if we started this game now, not even now, but even before uh, they switched to the new engine and it was still dark, they give newbies. 22 hours or something like that of an in-game light source. Yeah, I think it's 24 hours. Is it 24 hours? But it's like in-game, so yeah, it's, uh, it's like your first forever. all 22 or 24 hours. And so you are automatically start with essentially a uh, a lantern just on yeah. you. So the new buff gives you that. And then when we started, so when we played back in 2012... And I was reading that article. Difference. There was no, there was no newbie buff. Right. And there so there was no newbie buff when we first started. It was just. I think uh, it came while we were at Autumn Twilight, though. Still. Right. It was probably within the first year or two. Yeah. Where. Where they added the newbie buff. And, and Sir Mads, you're, Sir Mads, you're saying the new light buff saved your butt so many times in the first day. Been about a month since you started playing and you mourn the loss of that advantage. <laughs> mm. So, yeah, the newbie buff gives you a whole lot of advantages, not just, of course, the light. Uh, it makes it so mobs can hardly see you. Yep. 